Now I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Ajay Gupta, Vice President, Imaging and Printing Group, R&D Hub, who will showcase some interesting innovations, as Mr. Joshi said, being driven out of the HP R&D Hub in India. Ajay has been with HP since 1986, when he started his research career at HP Labs in Bristol, UK. Ladies and Thank gentlemen, you. Ajay. Thank you. Good afternoon. So what I'm going to show you is, you saw the vision, everything is going to be on the cloud. The content is on the cloud. The applications that process it are on the cloud. Now what happens when you want to get that content to hard copy, where you are, and when you want it? So how to make that happen? And also, when the content is in hard copy, but you want to have it digitized, you want it archived, you want to launch that workflow. So all that vision, all that strategy that you saw, actually the real innovation behind that is also happening in India. So for the past 10 years, Imaging and Printing Group in India has been doing the R&D, and we have built a very strong capability in what we call the core embedded systems, which drive our devices, in the software which secures them, which manages them, which transforms the content, and also the web scale systems that need to scale up and down depending upon the load. So bringing all that capability together has what has enabled us to launch this ePrint capability. So I have two scenarios for you here. So first is, I'm visiting my client, okay. and I have, I'm in his facility, and I need to present an invoice. To him because I want a piece of uh, I want a signature that I need to go. So here is my phone. Happens to be an Android phone. We are actually we, this we work together with Google, and my document is on on the web Google Docs. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to the, go to the web. So this is Google, and then I go to Google Docs. So let's see if I can go to Google Docs. So I go to Google Docs. It's, sorry, it's bring, bring, bring her on. Okay. And I see my document. So it's got an invoice that I'm going to give to my client. I click there, and the document opens up. So I can see it, but to get it signed, he can't sign here. So what I'm going to do is now I need to print it. So I go to, you see this print button? That has been added by Google, working with us. I press print. It shows me a printer, which is my client's printer here. And I pick it up, and then I go print. Now what is happening now, it's saying creating a new print job. The Google Cloud is preparing a print job and is going to deliver to HP's ePrint Cloud. So we have a direct cloud-to-cloud -cloud connection, which is secure and ensures that the document is going to be delivered. Then it says print job added, which means the Google Cloud has done its job. Now it's HP's Cloud which is doing the work. It's transcoding the content from the format that Google <coughs> delivered to us to a form that will show up in the printer. Now, you can't see this, it's saying printing document. So, it went from Google Cloud to HP Cloud, all through the web, and a page is spinning, so we'll get the invoice. So, let me ask you a question. Sure. Why, why is this transformative? What, what is the big deal here? So, the big deal here is all the applications, whether you use SAP, whether it's your SMB office, is going to be on the cloud. Now, there are a lot of reasons why people need a hard copy. As I said, you would, I need your signature because to know that you got it. Or I need to give you, so here is some bill of sale document that <laughs> I just took. Now, I want a signature and I want to take it with me, right? So for that, I need to be able to print that it could be a legal document. Sure. You know, that I, I just want your signature. We work together as, uh, uh, as Vijay was saying. saying to really insert, if you look at and go to Google Cloud Print, the only web connected device is HP's ePrint right now. Okay. So whether it's Apple's iCloud, whether it's all kinds of cloud services which are going to be there, whenever users want to get hard copy, our web connected infrastructure allows them to go from the content on the web to print anywhere. So that's one use case. Now the other use case is, you know in a market like India, we have a lot of paper based workflow. For all kinds of reasons, you have to fill forms. Now you need to take that paper back to cloud. So this other way is another huge opportunity. You fill a form and you want to submit it somewhere. You want to store it. So how do you launch workflows from paper documents? So just to give you an example, and it's a little bit a simple example, a consumer example. I've just gone to IRCTC uh, website and I printed, I booked a ticket. Happened to be waitlisted. Happens sometimes. Okay. 
Four days later, I want to check what's the status of my booking. So I have a ticket which is staying waitlisted. What I do is I go to a web-connected device which has what we call an IRCTC app. So these web-connected devices, as we were saying, also have apps on them. And one of the app is Railways Inquiry app. So here are apps. So this is another printer. I go to apps. So it's now connecting to the cloud. By the way, these apps are running in the cloud. So that way we can connect apps to any printer that you can think of. And there is an app which says PNR status. I, what I'll do is I put this document, and then I say, check the status. It's saying now scan the IRCTC ticket, so I'm going to scan it. So now what's happening is the application running in the cloud is asking the printer to scan the image. The image is going to go up in the cloud. In the cloud, that app is going to extract the relevant fields. It's then going to launch the IRCTC website, the public website, and there is going to deposit those key relevant fields, you know, the PNR number or the name of the person, and then it's going to query that website and from there extract the status, create a printable format, and, and it'll come out. So it's, it's showing processing. There's a lot of image processing which is happening, and it's actually hitting the real IRCTC website from where this content is going to be extracted. So what you can see doing here, like if I'm a small and medium business, if I have all my receipts, yes. if I have all the documents that I have got, I can actually scan it to the you know, cloud, put it into a Google Docs, and then retrieve it any time. I think that's the, that's the power of this whole you know, content capture, store in a secured way, pull it anytime, anywhere. I think that whole process of from content creation, digitization, to storing, and then actually printing anywhere, anytime, is the power of what we are talking about. So I think you can get the idea. So it's Instead of making it's this into a printer. It's in PNR status. So similarly, I could have taken that invoice, and I'm a small business. I'm, I have to sub submit an invoice to a, a, a partner. I can do that through this app. So it's now it's printing the status right now. And I don't need to physically send that document. It can be launched from the web platform itself. And it basically says, you know, what the current status is, kind of, it's, it's actually showing it's confirmed now. So what it's showing is how you can go from the content on the web to print, but also how you can go from hard copy and launch workflows. It could be a kid who has filled their exam paper and now wants to see, okay, well, how, what marks would I get if I do that? So all kinds of places where people interact with paper can be done through these web services. Now, what makes it happen? It sounds very simple. I think we want to deliver these very simple experiences. But behind that, there's a huge amount of technology. How to have these devices talk securely to the cloud? Because you, there's all kinds of hacks which are possible in this world. How to have web scale systems. So as more and more people, as millions and millions of printers come online, as millions and millions of jobs, the infrastructure is going to scale up and down. And third, which is even more important, is to create an open ecosystem so that a lot of people can build applications. We just showed you the PNR application, or education application, or invoice processing application. So a huge number of people will build applications. And we have created that platform where others could build their applications. So with this competence, we are making the IPG strategy, imaging and printing group strategy, and really transforming the print industry from taking the, the content which was earlier on PC, now on the web, and taking the hard copy back to cloud through this competence. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, if you think about, you know, where we are going, it's not about PC and a printing. It's about really a web services platform where we can be the on ramp to the cloud and off ramp to the cloud, capture content anywhere, anytime, print anywhere, anytime. You know, and if you think about why HP will win, because we are the company. We are number one in IT company. We understand the content workflows. We are also number one in imaging and printing. We are number one in cloud and cloud-based services. We truly believe what we can do now as things go digital, and we will be able to capture that content from smartphones to tablets to the PCs, take it to the cloud, apply security layer. It could be a consumer. It could be a small and medium business. It could be a print service provider. It could be an enterprise. We will be able to capture that content and print anywhere, anytime. Thank you very much.